the circus. The thrill of it is in our blood. The circus, it's something that puts us in a whirl. Quite suddenly, it's fairyland in our midst. It's magic. And if our imagination's in good working order, we've no choice. We've simply got to go there. Somehow or other. This is a royal gala performance sponsored by the Variety Club of Great Britain in aid of the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. And the world's most famous circus acts are in the show. So sit back and share the joy of the sawdust ring. See how show folk and circus animals do their daily work. The magical thing is the fact that all the lights and seats and animals arrive suddenly and transform a patch of waste ground into a tented wonderland. 10,000 square yards of canvas, and soon you'll recognize it as the big top. It's a five-hour job achieving the miracle that can give 4,000 people an evening in fairyland. And on this occasion, it's not only magic, it's history. Sad history. Chipperfield Circus is setting up for the last time. This circus started in the reign of Charles II, and it only closed down once in the war when Dick Chipperfield went as a pilot in the RAF. Now, after one last show, it's off to Africa, of all places, with hordes of animals that will be in the land of their ancestors for the first time. There are 40 horses, 8 camels, 10 lions, 6 crocodiles, 2 zebras and a hippopotamus leaving their native England to get their first glimpse of Africa, then on for a world tour. It's like taking coals to Newcastle and for us, it's a sad day. But as Chipperfield Circus closes down, Billy Smart Circus opens up with the traditional glitter and fun. Polar bears, wild and unpredictable. It has taken patience to train them, an understanding, and sheer courage. You don't have to watch the acts to catch the magic of the circus. You can see it all in the eyes of a child. Now for the act that makes other circus folks stand and stare with wonder. The Arata Boys on the tightrope. Hold your breath. And they've made it. Bravo! And now for the Liberty Horses, the centerpiece of any circus. Tomorrow, 50 miles away, in some other town, this horse will be doing the same act. But this one won't. John Chipperfield is putting him through his paces for the last time before he goes aboard ship. He's performing in Britain for the last time with a most unusual audience. The question is, will the elephant forget his routine in the course of a four-week sea trip? They'll soon find out.
and this is it. Departure time. It's the story of Noah's Ark brought up to date. And who's that going aboard in his own private truck? Well, if Jumbo's going, you can be sure Charlie's going too. That's for certain. And he'll show them what a boatload of monkeys is really like. And they're off now. Goodbye to the circus and all hands on deck.